Right, so today we're going to be doing another video on uh, Hashpack, Hashgraph, Hashconnect, basically connecting your web app to the Hashpack wallet. And the team over at Hashconnect and Hashpack, they've, uh, they've added uh, and updated the Hashconnect SDK, which is really, really great. They've got some really new cool features, uh, which we're going to go over today. So I have set up a last video on how to initialize and how to connect your wallet. This video is going to be focusing on sending and signing transactions so that you can actually use the wallet to sign transactions securely. Now, there have been some new updates with the uh, on the SDK behalf. And as you can see, we can do this signing with uh, execute with signer command. So um, I'm just going to quickly set up a, a React app. I'm going to set it all up so that we can get to the point where we can connect our app because I've done that all in my last video and now we're going to go on to sign in transactions. So to start, we'll do mpx create dash react dash app and it's going to be in this directory. So we had a dot. <clears throat> right, so now that the create react, uh, the react app has been set up, I'm going to install the node dependencies that we're going to need to interact with the uh, Hedera Hashgraph blockchain, or Hashgraph, I should say and also the hash connect. So we're going to uh, install hash connect. Cool. So hash connect's been installed. Now we will install Hedera slash SDK. Just realize that it's hash graph SDK. So yeah, that will install it properly. Make sure you write hash graph slash SDK. Cool, so back in our homepage, we've just got this header called connect wallet. Um, we're going to have a button um, which will say connect. So this is gonna connect us to the wallet and on click, it's going to call a function that we're gonna write. So we'll call it connect uh, connect wallet now I'm just going to copy and paste the code pretty much from my previous video into here so that we don't have to repeat that but watch my previous video on how to actually uh, send the ping out to connect your Chrome extension wallet which you can find over here um, I'll do a quick demonstration of that so as you can see when you press connect this is just a project of my own the hash pack app pops up Hashpack request waiting. Once you put in your password, it will come up with this. And it will ask you to connect one of your wallets. We'll just reject that for now. This is a project of my own and working. I'll put the link in it below. It's essentially a decentralized lottery. So it's a pretty cool idea. Um, if you're interested, yeah, drop me messages asking about it and have a check on the website as well. Um, but back to this. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly transfer some of the code to initialize that. Right, so I've got this function set up. It's just called the connect wallet, of course, the same name. And um, we've got our save data, which initially when it's initialized, it has no uh, no values, all just empty strings, etc. But of course, gradually as throughout the process, we uh, save data towards it so that once it's been saved, we can access it given we haven't refreshed the page or anything like that. You can put this into cookies so that um, when you close browsers and reopen it, you're able to use the same information. For this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. Uh, this little bit of code here also sets the account ID, which I've initialized up here, equal to the account ID of the paired wallet. Uh, that will come in handy later on when we need to use the account ID. So let's just check this is all up and running. Uh, if we call npm run dev and there's been an error npm run start uh, right so small little error um, this is an asynchronous function we're using a wait in here so we need to make it an async function and to do that we just put an async before the curly brackets so we now start it up again 
One more little thing, I hadn't imported the HashConnect module, so you need to import HashConnect from the HashConnect dependency, and then we can initialize it over here. As you can see, it was yellow before, now it's turned green because it's a class. So I believe the development server should be up and running. It is, and if we press connect, nothing will happen because we're not in an HTTPS server. So again, I'll speak about this in my last video, uh, but to run an HTTPS server, we just need to download this thing called Engrot, and this kind of forwards things to a, to a HTTPS server. So we do HTTP, the local host is running on port 3000, so that's the port we run through. And this address is our secure address, which we can then just enter details. Look, it's my website, I know it's safe. And as this loads up, we now press connect. Up oh, pops hash pack. So we'll connect to it. Uh, just to show you again what it looks like. And we'll press test, approve. So now it's connected. Now we've connected. Now we can actually access, um, <clears throat> now we can actually access the user's information. Sorry, we can't access the user information. The user can use his wallet to sign transactions. And that's what we're gonna do now. So we're just gonna create a very, very simple function which sends a fixed amount of H part to a fixed address. There's not gonna be any user inputs or anything like that quite yet. This is just to demonstrate how to actually sign a transaction. So to do that, we're gonna to need to import some stuff from the Hedera SDK. Now the docs, like I've said earlier, the docs and hash pack, very, very good. Uh, I don't know who wrote them. Pluto, if you wrote them and you're watching this, shout out to you because uh, the docs are very clear. Um, so yeah, you pretty much just need to follow the docs. Of course, I'll, I'll put the link into the docs in my uh, bio below as well, or whatever it's called, the description. So we're gonna firstly create a new function and we'll just call this the send transaction function. So const send transaction. And it's going to be asynchronous again, so I'm not going to forget to do it this time. And like I said, it's not going to take in any arguments quite yet. Uh, well, at all. And for it, there's going to be a few things we need to do first. So we need to initialize a provider. Now, a provider is part of this, like Heather's JS API. There's a provider and a signer. Uh, something that I'm still learning a bit more about. But essentially, if we, this is TypeScript, I'm doing JavaScript. So if we make a new constant called provider and we set that equal to hash connect dot get provider. Um, one thing that I do want to note, if you've been using hash connect before, you will need to update your hash connect uh, NPM module. So you, where you can do that is just by doing NPM update and then just type in the name and that will automatically update it. Of course, mine, uh, we installed it a few minutes ago, so it's gonna be giving us the highest version, but do that in case you're running an old version of Hashgraph. So yeah, we const provider and within it is gonna take in three variables. So it's taking in the network, the topic, and the account ID. The network we're using is the test net. If you're using the main net, use the main net. But we're just gonna write test net. Now our topic is saved inside our save data up here. So we're just going to write save data dot topic and our account ID. Well, that's what we populated over here. So we'll call account ID and put that in as the third argument. Uh, then we want to go into our signer. So to do that, we just again con signer equals hash connect dot get signer. And it's going to be taking in this provider as an argument. Now, we need to do a few more things. So we need to firstly import some stuff from the Hedera SDK. So we're gonna to need to import transfer transaction, um, which is, we could do over here. So if we do import trans, transfer transaction should usually come up, but uh, it's not right now. Hash graph SDK. Uh, we're also going to need to take in the count ID. I don't know why none of this comes. Okay, that's coming up now. Count ID, and uh, I think that should be it. So as you can see, in this transfer transaction, we can have, we've got add HBAR transfers, so the subtraction from one account and the addition to the other, and then this freeze with signer. So we'll get started with that. 
Uh, so we say just follow exactly what they're saying. Let transaction. We're going to that's going to equal a new transfer transaction uh, with add h bar transfer. So the first one's going to be the from address, which is our account ID from string because we're giving it a string. This the account ID is kind of like an object, um, and the account ID which the humans see is just a string so we need to get a bit more kind of information from it uh, by doing from string and then once we give it the string or the account id then it's going to give us the account id object which is used for these particular transactions so we'll just send yeah we'll just send one from there we're also going to need to get uh, another account so we we'll do add h bar transfer again account id dot from string and for this, I'm just going to go into my own um, into my own hash pack, and I'm going to select this wallet here. So you can see it's got a test ID. It's got an ID of that, so we just copy and paste that in. And this account is going to be receiving one. So this account is receiving it. This means that it doesn't need to sign anything on the number blocks one. Uh, this is the account that's sending it, so this is the account that needs to send and sign the transaction, and that's where this comes in. <coughs> so we're going to also add the freeze with signer little line, and that's going to be with the signer. And then finally, let res equal await transaction dot execute with signer. And that's again going to be taking in the signer. We can console log this response to see what it gives us. Right, um, so we're going to make another function, another button quickly, which is just the, uh, which is going to be the send money button. So on click, on click, and that is, what is it? Send transaction. And we'll just say send. Okay, so if we now head over to our web app, refresh the page. Oops, okay, just gonna reconfigure this NGROC thing quickly. Right, so we're back on it. Um, so, firstly, we're gonna connect. We need to connect it, uh, otherwise, it's not going to give us kind of the, well, it's not going to be connected. So that's successfully connected. Now we press send and there we go. We get popped up with the Hashpack app, confirm transaction. This is the, uh, this is the function which we've called over here, the send transaction. And when calling this execute with signer, this pops up, we approve it, minus one H bar. This is the first time I've actually done this. so. Let's check that it's worked. If we go into our history and refresh that, this is the account that we're sending it to. Received HBAR. And if we go to the account that we sent it from, sent HBAR. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to quickly show what it used to look like, uh, what it used to do to, to do all of this coding, to do the same function. So yeah, so the old way that you needed to sign transactions was all of this stuff over here. So you'd need to take the um, byte information of each transaction. So we call the transaction over here, token associate transaction in this instance, and turn it into byte form, then pass the byte form into this byte array, and then use hash connect send transaction with this transaction data, which is a special object kind of with the byte away, with the bytes and with this and that. Um, but with the new update, it's literally all of that which is very 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 good very intuitive um, this is pretty much just typical Hadira token service stuff and then this one line allows you to send the transaction and sign it with your wallet which I think is really great uh, I'm gonna have a go doing it with smart contracts uh, test it out with that but man I'm really really happy with this new update and definitely makes things a lot easier and cleaner hope you enjoyed the video give it a like and yeah also check out my hash product project